Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven, and as you can see, I am here with this new hair, this brand new wig that I am so freaking excited about, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because it is my own custom creation, my own custom design. So in case you guys are new to my channel, I have been working with this wig company, RPG Show, for years now. I have done tons of wig review videos for them if you look back on my channel. And I have pretty much loved every single wig that I have tried from them. They're a really great company and they make really high quality products. So they reached out to me and asked if I would want to come out with my own series of custom wigs with them. And I totally said yes. And I've actually already done a few custom wig designs already. Some of you guys definitely purchased some of them. I've been seeing your pictures. I love seeing you guys rocking my wig designs. They look great on you guys and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying my wig collection so far. I will link all of the previous ones down below if you want to check those out. But this is my newest one. It's my baby. I'm so proud of it. I'm so excited about it and I'm so freaking happy with it. So as you can see, it is this sickening, just sickening, super glam, blonde colored wig. So yes, I designed this wig, I designed the color, I designed everything about it, I picked it out, I said this is how I want it to be. I wanted to give you guys a Slay the Summer wig. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys all the details in this video. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I installed this wig, what I did to my natural hair underneath, and how I laid the um, perimeter of it and you know, laid all the edges down and everything. I'm gonna be showing you guys the whole entire process in detail. So yeah, if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so real quick before I show you how to put on this wig, I do wanna give you guys the specs of this wig. So this is a 20 inch human hair lace wig. It is a custom blonde, light beige blonde color with brown roots and the hair is rooted all throughout the whole wig. So no matter where you part it, you will see the roots. And this is a 200% density wig, meaning that basically there is twice as much hair on this wig than the average wig. This means that you're getting more hair and a nice thick wig. This wig features RPG Show's new pre-plucked hairline, which is a really awesome new feature, which makes the front of the hair look so natural and makes it really easy to apply the wig. You guys will see that in the video and also if you guys like this wig you like the design and construction of it but you just don't want the custom blonde color that's fine you will be able to order this wig in a natural black color as well and that will save you $30 so the full price of this wig with all of the features in 20 inches with the custom blonde color is $559 but RPG show is having a sale right now for their 10th anniversary so from now until June 30th you can save six $60 with the coupon code which is down below in the description box so you can get this wig for $500. I will be doing a full pricing breakdown towards the end of this video and also comparing it to other companies and other hair options just to show you guys that this is a really good investment. Of course this wig will be lasting you for years and it's just a really high quality product so if you need more information on the price definitely stay tuned to the end of this video for some helpful information. Okay guys so here I am wiggling and ready to go. I am going to be explaining the whole process of how I put on my wigs now and how I prep my natural hair now that my hair is getting longer. It's just like this, just in two little pigtails, just like this. This is the easiest thing for me to do since I do not know how to cornrow still. And it's just fast and it's simple and it actually works because my hair is getting longer now so I have more and more hair to try to fit up under my wig and still make the wig lay flat, especially when I'm doing like a straight middle part wig. You need your natural hair to be laying as flat as possible across the top, otherwise the wig is just not gonna look right. So honestly, slicking my hair down and doing these two little pigtails gets my hair as flat as possible because even if I did know how to cornrow, if I were to be putting a bunch of braids, it would be a little bit more bulky at the top because of the braids at the top. So I feel like this actually gets it the most flat at the top. And then with these pigtails, what I do is I tuck them in the back of the wig and I kind of just have to ball up the braids and tuck them in. But I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, all I do to prep my natural hair is wash it, condition it with whatever you want to wash your hair with, whatever your favorite conditioner is. Make sure you use something moisturizing, you know, use something good and then put some oil in your hair, put some leave-in conditioner in your hair. Let your hair be nourished and moisturized under your wig so that your hair can grow 
um, while you're wearing this wig. And I do have the wig right here ready to go. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know you guys already just saw it in the intro, but can we talk? Can we talk about this freaking wig? Look at it. First things first, I have my wig caps and I like to use a combination of wig caps depending on kind of like what I'm doing. Like I have these ones here, which are like a fishnet type of thing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a fishnet wig cap. And then there's these ones, which is more of a stocking cap. And I use these when I'm doing a glueless method because it allows you to actually stick the combs through the fishnet and into your hair. So if you're using the combs of the wig as what you're holding down, then you need to use a fishnet cap, if that makes sense. But since I am gonna be doing the glue method and I'm actually gonna be securing it around the perimeter rather than really relying on the combs going into my hair, then I like to use the stocking cap like this. So this is the one I'm gonna be using today. The next main ingredient to putting on my wig should not be a surprise to anybody out there who wears wigs or frontals. This has been the talk of the town for a long time now. This is the got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel. It's non-sticky, no flakes, crazy holds. This is a hair gel that's meant to like, basically like if you wanna like make a big old mohawk with your hair and guys like to spike their hair up, this is really Really what this is made for but it works as a glue for the wigs because it's such an ultra hold gel and it does even though it says it's non-sticky on here that's a lie this shit is sticky af going straight in with the got to be glued gel i am going to apply just a little bit of this onto my actual edges because as you can see after i just got done doing my makeup they kind of started frizzing up a little bit and i didn't really have them slicked down and it really really helps to slick down your edges before you put on your wig that way everything is just pulled back out of the way and you don't have to deal with it and it just lays nice and flat under your wig cap so i'm just pushing this back with the gel i am also going to slap a bobby pin right here just to help hold it down so now that we're all slicked down i'm going to take the stocking cap and i'm going to put it on my head i'm going to put it pretty low at first just to get it on there and then I'm gonna turn around so you can see how I tuck my braids. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing, but basically I crisscross them and tuck it in and then crisscross them again and tuck it in like that. And then I try to just flatten it out and like scoot it down so it's just right here at the very nape of my neck and try to flatten it and squish it as much as possible so that it's not making like a big ball or a big bun. So now from the side you can see, obviously I have a little bit of a lump because there is hair under there, but it's not like a big thing that's gonna give me like an egghead when I put my wig on. It also helps if you do this while your natural hair is damp. My hair is still damp from washing it earlier. So it just like when your hair is wet, it just compacts a lot easier. Real quickly, I do wanna explain to you guys the construction of this wig. It is a little bit different and a little bit updated from some of the other RPG show wigs that I've shown on my channel. This is a lace front wig. It has a huge lace front. I don't know if you guys can see how big that lace front is where the hairs are hand tied onto the lace. And then it's just in the very back of the wig where there are actual tracks. So you see that darker portion right here that's where the tracks are sewn on so yes there are tracks in the back of this wig but i just designed it that way so that this wig could be super duper thick but not cost you an extra 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 amount of money putting the tracks in the back adds all that extra thickness and hair it just adds so much more hair a lot easier so that's why i made it like that but you don't really have to worry because this is basically a full lace wig with how much lace is on this wig you see it's covering the whole whole top part of your hair even further back than the middle part and it goes from ear to ear and it gives you like I want to say two two and a half inches of parting space from ear to ear this might as well be a full lace wig because they're giving you lace like covering your whole head almost and the way the tracks are professionally sewn on in the back you can't even see them like I'm trying to separate the hair to show you guys the tracks and you have to really really specifically part it off 
right where the track is for the track to show. You can swing it, blow it through the wind, do whatever you want. The tracks are not going to show. And that is because they are really, really skinny, thin wefts and they're sewn very, very close together. It's not how it would be with the typical DIY wig where you're sewing the bundles onto the wig cap yourself. It's going to be more bulky when you do that. The tracks are going to be more visible when you do that. The way that this is professionally made, the tracks are like invisible. Other than that, you can see that it's made with this really nice transparency transparent lace to give that flawless illusion. It also has two combs on either side of your head. So right here, like I said, if you're going to be relying on the combs to slide into your natural hair to hold it on, there's also another comb right here in the nape of the neck. So you can slide that up in there, which helps a lot if you're doing any type of ponytail or high bun with the wig. There's also lace going around the nape of the neck, which also helps that part look natural if you're wearing the hair up. And there is also an adjustable strap going around the nape of the neck which allows you to tighten or loosen the whole wig to fit your head perfectly but really the special feature about the way that this wig is constructed is that it is using RPG shows new pre-plucked natural hairline on the lace front of the wig so basically what that means is that they've already plucked it and thinned it out for you it comes like that it comes with a thinner hairline which kind of sounds backwards like why would you want to get it already thin but trust me anybody out there who wears wigs knows that you sit there for hours plucking your wig to get that natural look that's like how you get the natural look is you pluck your wig you take some of the hairs out, you thin it out towards the front, and then you customize it and you make that natural hairline. So this basically cuts your work in half, if not 100%. I'll have to try it on right now and let you guys know how much more plucking I have to do. But I'm looking at it right now and it's it looks really, really natural. Like you guys can tell right here, it just has that customized look to it right off the bat. So I definitely wanted to use this new hairline feature on this wig that I designed for you guys because I just feel like it's a major key. It's going to make your leg so much more easy and it's just going to make the overall look look a lot more natural. So now what I'm going to do before I actually put the wig on for real, I'm just going to try it on quickly. So as you can see, the wig still has the excess lace going around the front of the wig. I have not customized the hairline whatsoever. I haven't tweeze anything, cut anything, plucked anything. This wig has not been customized whatsoever. Woo! This wig is, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I just got so excited. It's not even on straight. Wow, hold on. Let me not start crying. <laughs> my eyes literally felt like they were about to start watering. You guys, I don't think I'm gonna even barely have to do anything to this wig. Okay guys, so this is me literally just slapping the wig on my head without touching it, without doing anything to it. So if you guys order this wig and you pull the wig out of the box and you slap it on your head, this is what it's gonna look like. Obviously I still have the lace right here. I'm gonna cut that. But this is pretty freaking good for not customizing it whatsoever. The part looks good. I don't feel like I need to pluck it or make it, you know, fill it in with concealer or anything like that. The hairline, let me show y'all. The hairline looks really freaking natural and it actually goes all the way down to my ear and it gives me that natural look right here on the sideburns. Like, I'm not gonna have to do nothing to this wig. Look at it. I just feel like it's such a big transformation when you just put a blonde wig on. It's like, girl, I'm here. I'm here. Bring me my snacks. So all I'm gonna do is take it back off of my head because I don't wanna stab myself. And I'm going to just cut the lace. And there's also excess lace on the nape of the neck and the back of the wig. So I'm just gonna cut that off as well. Okay, so I cut the excess lace off. Now I'm just gonna slap it back onto my head. So I'm just gonna leave the wig pushed back like this for now. Make sure my wig cap is pulled up. And then I'm taking my got to be glued gel just on my finger. And I'm going to apply it just right there on my hairline, just right there kind of on my skin on my forehead mostly and not really getting too much of it on my actual hair or hairline and I'm just going to spread this all across the perimeter and make sure you go all the way down to your sideburns and then what I like to do is like tap it with my finger so it almost gives it like a texture to the gel if that makes sense so it's not like just completely smoothed down and then I do also like to take a little bit of extra gel and put it right here, like on my wig cap, 
where the middle part is going to be it just helps really hold down the part where you want it to be super flat i zoomed you guys in so you can see a little bit better but i'm just tapping it just to give it that texture and now you can let this just air dry for a few minutes if you don't want to do the blow dryer method or if you don't have a blow dryer that can be put on a cool setting but if you are going to use your blow dryer you have to make sure that you put it on cool not on warm and then what you're going to do is you're going to let this dry or blow dry it so that it can get really tacky if you just try to stick the wig down like straight after you put the gel and the gel is still wet the wig is not going to stick the gel needs to dry quite a bit before you try to stick the wig down Okay, so now once the gel is tacky, you should be able to take your wig, and I like to just grab it like this by the hair, and pull it forward, and pull it, and just get it lined up. Make sure it's straight, especially if you're doing a middle part, make sure you have it as straight as you want it before you start really sticking it, because once you stick it, it ain't no turn back, girl. So I like to just check the sideburns and make sure that they're straight. And then I'm just going to take this main part of the hair and clip it back right now so it's not in my way. Just loosely clip it. And you don't have to worry about rushing or working really fast to get it stuck down because it will stay tacky for a while and you do actually have to blast it with your blow dryer again to really like stick it down. So you can take your time, work slow, make sure it's straight. And then take a rat tail comb and stick it in the hair and use it to stick it down so you're kind of using the hairs of the wig and rubbing them down in a forward direction if you guys can see what i'm doing to kind of stick the hairs down a little bit too along with the legs and then i like to do the rat tail comb right here down the part and just rub it rub it rub it and stick it down on the part and then just keep going around the hairline. So you're kind of going like one centimeter back, sticking the rat tail in there, and then rubbing forward. Just a little bit. Since I'm doing a middle part, I'm not really doing anything crazy in terms of baby hairs. But this is also the part where you would be laying down the baby hairs of the wig if you wanted to really, really style the baby hairs. But I'm just going to kind of randomly just stick it on there and having that extra bit of gel underneath right there that we put on our wig cap helps it stick down too so to dry it and to lock this whole hairline into place we are going to get the blow dryer back out and put it on cool again and just blast it with that cool air again until everything feels completely dry So I'm just kind of cleaning it up and wiping off any excess gel. You don't want your whole forehead to just be covered with gel and looking super shiny and stuff. So I'm just trying to clean it up and wipe any excess off now that it's dry. Okay, so now the wig is nice and secure. I can run my fingers through it. I can play with it. I can style it. I can do whatever I want. It's not going anywhere. I can literally do like this. It's not going to lift. It's not going anywhere. This is really good if you're going to be like wearing it half up, half down or doing any type of updo, ponytail buns, little bun at the top of your head type of thing. So yeah, it's not going anywhere. It is a sucker. So honestly, in terms of styling this wig, I feel like I could stop here. I don't feel like I need to re-straighten it. I don't feel like I even need to do anything to the top of it or like try to flatten it down or alter the part or anything. I don't even feel like I need to put concealer in my part, which I always, always put makeup in my parts, make it look more natural. But this just looks... Like, I think I see a little bit of a line where my wig cap is, so I could cover that up, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that by taking just some foundation powder and a light color and just a little concealer brush. Just getting a little bit of powder and just putting a tiny bit of powder right there, like where my wig cap is kind of showing. Just the tiniest bit. So I feel like that just fixed it, but I honestly probably didn't even really need to do that. But yeah, I feel like I'm done. I honestly feel like I don't need to do anything else, which is so crazy because I didn't have to pluck this wig. I didn't do any tweezing whatsoever. I didn't have to do anything. Like I feel like I just cut the lace and glued it on because I literally just cut the lace and glued it on. And I thought this wig was going to be so hard to put on and like pull off because of the color and stuff. I was so worried like, oh, I'm going to have to lay and slay this wig. 
and it's literally like the easiest wig I've put on in a long time out of all the wigs I've ever put on it's so easy and I think that natural hairline feature that they added like the pre-plucked hairline I think that really helps and I think just the quality of the wig and the construction of the wig really helps to where you don't have to like do all that extra stuff to try to make it lay flat and look natural. I have done my research. I was actually about to order a wig and then I was like, wait, why don't I just make my own custom wig? The wig that I was looking at cost $2,000. Then I started looking at other wig websites who sell long human hair blonde wigs especially it's always above a thousand dollars like the wigs you see on instagram the wigs that your favorite instagram people are wearing the wigs that you see celebrities wearing they cost over a thousand dollars i guarantee you so the fact that you're able to get the exact same look the exact same quality it's human hair it's not synthetic it's the same length it's the same thickness it's the same color as those celebrity instagram wigs and those cost $2,000 and this one cost $500? Girl, I just hooked you up. I just hooked you up by designing this wig and working with RPG Show on this wig to bring you guys this color, this length, this thickness for $500. That's actually a freaking good deal. Okay guys, so I wanted to do something for my girls out there who are familiar with bundles, who get sew-ins, who buy bundles, who order hair online, but who may not have ordered a lace wig online. For those of you who are just trying a lace wig for the first time, or just if you're a little bit concerned about the price of this wig in general, I kind of wanted to break it down in comparison to bundles. So I went to a popular hair hair site and I just wanted to see what the typical pricing was for frontals and for bundles. So this is basically saying if you were trying to, I guess, save money and you wanted to just order your own hair and do your own sew-in or make your own wig. I definitely have made my own wigs in the past and it's nothing wrong with it but it's not always a way to save money. So I went on this website and I looked at their 360 frontals first because in order to get the same effect that this lace wig is giving you with you know being able to wear it up in a ponytail and stuff like that, you're really gonna have to get a 360 frontal to get a you know similar effect. So I saw that their 360 frontals are $185. So I added that to my cart just to add everything up. Then I went to their bundles and I actually decided to go to their discounted bundles. This website has two different types of bundles. Their premium bundles that are really high quality that are supposed to last longer. And then their discounted bundles, which are a lower price, but they're not as high quality. And they even say on their own website that it's not going to last you very long. It's only going to last you two installs. Whereas my lace wig that I'm showing you in this video is going to last you for years. And I can speak from experience on that. But I went ahead, you know, trying to save money. I did the discounted bundles and I got three bundles of their straight 20 inch hair. Since this lace wig is 20 inches, I wanted to do the same length and I added that to my cart. So with the 360 lace frontal and the three discounted straight bundles, my order came out to about $440, which is pretty average. I looked on a couple of different websites and this is about what you're gonna pay for this amount of hair in this length. And mind you, this is the discounted hair. So if you're getting higher quality hair, it's gonna be more expensive. But in order to really compare it to the lace wig that I'm showing in this video, we have to take into account the other supplies that you're gonna need to try to replicate this wig. So you're gonna have to bleach the hair and tone the hair in order to get this really nice light blonde color. So I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I started adding in all the supplies that I know from experience of DIYing my own wigs and bleaching my own wigs in the past what you're gonna need to try to achieve this color. So I added all of the products to my cart and my total came out to be almost $60. So now in terms of making your own wig, there actually are a few more costs involved. You do have to get a wig cap and supplies or if you're gonna be paying someone to make the wig for you or if you're going to be paying someone to install the hair for you. So you do have to take those extra costs into consideration as well. So anyway, I went to my calculator and I added up the $438 for the price of the hair itself plus the $58 for the supplies 
supplies and it came out to be about $500 and like I said that's not including some of those extra costs and that's not including the time it's going to take for you to do all of this stuff yourself. So I showed all of that just to say that with this collaboration with RPG Show I really wanted to truly bring you guys a high quality wig but at a fair price. I think that this is definitely a fair price considering how much it would cost for you to do everything yourself or go to a different company or order bundles yourself but what's really good about this is that all you have to do is place your order and wait for the wig to come to your door and then as you can see you basically take the wig straight out of the box and put it on and you're good to go you don't have to make anything yourself you don't have to dye anything and the installation is extremely easy and this wig is going to last you for at least a year, if not multiple years, with good maintenance. So I think that this is a great investment. I think that it gives you the result that you want very easily, and it's at a very, very fair price. Okay guys, so I wanted to come back and show you guys a different hairstyle with this wig. So it is the next day, and I have styled it a little bit differently. I am still rocking the middle part, but of course you can part this wig literally however you want. You could do a side part on either side. Any, Literally, you can part the wig as if it was your natural hair. There's no limitations with that. But I just do really like the middle part with the roots. But yeah, I just took a big fat curling wand and curled the hair and then just kind of brushed it out so it would be wavy like this. Super easy, didn't require any products or anything like that and it came out really pretty and still looks nice and healthy and shiny and everything. The possibilities are absolutely endless with this wig. You can do all different types of ponytails and buns and pigtails and half up, half down and braids. I was wearing it in braids yesterday. You can do all different types of textures if you want to curl it, straighten it, wear it wavy and it's natural wet wavy look. There's just like so many different hairstyles you can do with this wig. It's like, I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to show you guys all of them, but I do want to try and do more videos with this wig showing a couple of different hairstyles. If you guys want to see more like updos, ponytails, braids, all those more like advanced hairstyles, I guess, with wigs, definitely let me know down below what type of hairstyles you would like to see me do with this wig and I will try to do more videos for you guys. But yeah, guys, I'm absolutely in love with this wig. If you can't already tell, I just feel like this is my favorite hairstyle to date and I'm so excited to see how you guys rock it. So if you purchased one, definitely tag me in your photos. Let me know. Send me some pictures, girls, so I can repost them as well. But yeah, I think that's everything about this wig. That's everything for this video. If you guys have any more questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave your comments down below and I will try to answer as many of them as I can. But other than that, that's everything. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!